Holy cow. Is that air bubbles just from the heat expanding? Do you guys see that? See if I can get you a better view of this. That may just be air, guys. Getting the air hotter so it's going to expand. So don't get too excited just yet here. But if it keeps happening, we know we, we can't infinitely expand the air. can see that so there is some moisture content in that stuff from the torch itself so we're just, we are seeing a little bit of steam here there was some moisture that was absorbed we're starting to melt the hose here everything's getting really hot so that increase in weight we've seen very well may have just been moisture. I don't know that I, that I would say there was a gram of moisture absorbed, but. That water sprayer. Okay, my hose started to melt right here, so I had to run and grab a spray bottle real quick, which turned out to be empty. But there's another nail in the coffin for this idea here. The amount of heat you have to dump into this thing to get a reasonable temperature is crazy. Or to get a reasonable, yeah, I mean, to get any bubbles at all, we're cranking way more energy than we would ever get out under these circumstances. Okay, we were at 300 Celsius. Okay, as you can see, we're getting no gas at all. Maybe a couple little bubbles. Certainly not enough to supply the amount of heat you need to liberate it. So we're done, son. So I'm gonna cook another batch with an electric kiln this time and give it another try. Nothing like not being prepared. Okay. 